Hey church family, happy December 22nd to you. We are getting really close to Christmas now. And in our devotional this morning, Piper notes that many of us have probably grown up in the church and can recite the great doctrines of the faith. But I would say whether you grew up in the church or not, you've probably become comfortable with the idea of Christmas. And what I mean by that is that we're used to the idea of Santa Claus, Christmas movies, which I've been watching since November, Christmas food, exchanging gifts, and oh yes, it's also Jesus' birthday. Something we often forget is how Christmas fits in the life of Christ. John 20, 30 through 31 says, Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of the disciples, which are not written in this book, but these are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. That is one of my all-time favorite passages of Scripture because as we've studied the Gospels and we see all the works of Jesus, what we learn is the purpose of all of this eyewitness testimony, all of this being written down, is so that for us, the reader, might hear the works of Jesus and that by believing, we may have life in His name. The reason we know about Christmas, the reason it was recorded in the Gospels, is the same reason that we know about the resurrection, that we might believe and have life in His name. So my encouragement for us this morning, as we reflect and as Christmas approaches us, is not to let the Christmas season become commercialized in our minds. Traditions with family are great, I would encourage them. But let's use this season to remind ourselves that Jesus is the Christ, the Messiah, and that by believing, we would have life in His name. Think about the family we could influence for Christ by living that out. That Christmas is so much more than just time with family. Christmas is actually a celebration and worship that Jesus is the Christ. In John 2, Jesus says, by what, they ask him, what authority does he clear out the temple? And he says, by this authority, that in three days, that this body will be torn down and in three days, he will raise it back up again. It's his resurrection that gives him authority. But it's his incarnation that allows him to get to the resurrection. Jesus is the Christ. He's worthy to be exalted. And I pray this Christmas season that we would believe and that by believing, we would have life in his name. Merry Christmas.